Hey guys, welcome to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, this week we're going to talk about the AWS security. Uh, so we're going to start with the basics and as we move on into the course, I'll also teach you how different aspects of the AWS and like, you know, how you should configure the AWS. And, and if you're if you're a consultant or penetration tester or, or like, you know, uh, uh, maybe you're working as a as a as an IT guy, you know how to like, you know, <clears throat> create the secure AWS infrastructure. Uh, in this video, I want to start with the uh, one of the topic, which is the IAM, uh, which is Identity and Access Management uh, from AWS. <clears throat> now, uh, IAM is generally used for like you know managing the AWS users, and like you know you can create groups, and then you can create like you know assign the access to the group and to the individuals to uh, like you know uh, with the certain policies and all those things. So that's what uh, we're gonna see today. The other thing is uh, in the in the AWS when you create the account. By the way, you can sign up for a free tier AWS account. Uh, there is no charge for it. You just go to the AWS.com and then you can sign up for an account. And as long as you are not going through certain like you know usage, uh, you won't be charged anything. So uh, that's something if you want to do a like you know hands on, uh, you can do so. You can do so. Uh, so as when you create the AWS account, you will be signed up with a root account uh, root account is sort of like, you know, a master user account who can do pretty much everything you can delete user add user and, and uh, like, you know, high level or super admin administrative account it has. Uh, so now let's move on. Uh, like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on to the uh, browser and I'll, I'll show you how to how the, does the IAM look and how to create the users and group into the uh, Identity access management. So this is the uh, AWS management console. So when you log in, uh, like you know, you will see uh, this is sort of like a dashboard or the main page. And here you can uh, see, you know, recent recently visited services. So for example, if you want to go to the uh, S3, you just type S3 and it will show up here. Uh, same way, if you want to go to the IAM, uh, click here. Uh, now will be redirected to the IAM, and here we will get a so when you create the uh, like you know new AWS account, uh, there there will be certain task or like you know best practices that AWS assigned to you, uh, which I highly recommend to do it. Uh, uh, if you are like you know uh, just deploying your application or anything, uh, this is sort of like you know must do things. Uh, so now the first one, so like you know here you can see there are uh, five tasks and one of those already marked off which is delete your root access keys, uh, account keys because they provide unnecessary access to your device. Instead, uh, you can use the temporary security credentials. Of course, like, you know, uh, in this case, I'm not using any access key to kind of get into the AWS. I'm just using my uh, username and password. So that's why uh, this has been marked off. Uh, the second thing is, thing is MFA, which is multi-factor authentication. Uh, you can do it with the AWS root account to add another layer of protection to help keep your account secure. Now we have seen like, you know, uh, any any popular app that you see like be it, uh, Gmail, be it Facebook, be it Yahoo or anything like, you know, everyone allows the two-factor authentication. And that's why uh, it's also very, you know, uh, very much required and, and, and I would say like, you know, uh, very much important to have it uh, for all the apps. So we're gonna click on the active MFA. Uh, so you can do it with the virtual MFA device, uh, which is you can use the Google Authenticator or probably Duo or any other authenticator app. Uh, what it does is like how it works is, uh, so here you're gonna see the uh, QR code, which I will have to scan through my phone, uh, which I am doing right now. And after that, you would have to enter like, you know, two codes here. So for example, uh, this is the first one. And then I need to enter the second code as well to provide the code. Like, you know, it will tell you like uh, you have successfully assigned the virtual MFA. So every like, you know, next time when I when I'm logging in, I'm actually have to enter this uh, second code from my authenticator app. All right, let's go back to the IAM and uh, finish up the remaining task. All right, so here is the create individual IAM user. So for example, let's say you are an administrator or you are a, a security consultant who wants to review the uh, uh, like, you know, AWS configuration. So here uh, the root users uh, would add like, you know, or the admin users would add a user. And the simple process is like, you know, you just uh, enter the name of the 
a person of course then you want to have the AWS management console access uh, you want to uh, you can also like you know give the auto generated password you can create custom password I'm just gonna create uh, one here and uh, new password at the sign in yes that's something you want to check off anyway uh, now here you get the three options one you can uh, create the group and assign, add this user to a group or you can copy permissions from the existing user or you can attach the existing policy now uh, existing policy you would see like you know there are a bunch of policies uh, defaultly created by the AWS uh, here the first one is for example provide full access to AWS services which I'm gonna select and go to next uh, anything any tags nope all right so review everything everything looks perfect and then you just create the user now if you see this uh, this is the console or I would say like you know AWS management console and this is a unique number for each user uh, so they are not logging into the like you know root or root user console or something uh, so you just provide this to the uh, like you know uh, user that you created and, and they should be able to log in with the pre uh, created password uh, so this is how you would uh, create the users uh, during the IAM so uh, when you're doing the like you know uh, configuration review or security review of the AWS you also want to check uh, make sure like you know uh, the users are created and 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 are grouped into the appropriate uh, with the appropriate policies and stuff like that uh, don't worry about that like you know we'll, we'll look up uh, the examples in the future videos as well all right so le let's go back to the IAM so that was our third task now user groups assign permission uh, so this is what I talked about like you know okay so we're gonna create the uh, group and we'll say test group next of course whoever in this group we want to give them administrator access uh, we create that pop that policy uh, create group all right that's done uh, there was our four task which uh, AWS has assigned and then a uh, password policy of course like you know if you see nowadays uh, there is uh, always uh, I would say like you know enforced a complex password policy uh, which requires like you know minimum of I would say eight characters and then uh, you can also say like you know prevent reuse or like you know uh, password requires administration reset but I don't think so but I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, check out this one uppercase lowercase one number and one alphanumeric so that way we have covered all the bases and that's it apply and now if you see here I guess all of the our task is now completed uh, like you know uh, able to create the IAM users group and assign policy and stuff like that so this is very basic in terms of AWS but in the future videos I'm definitely going uh, like you know very depth in depth of the other AWS services what's the configuration what's the use of it and, and pretty much like you know uh, we'll, we'll walk through the entire AWS slowly and slowly uh, but yeah that, that's it uh, what I want to discuss in this video uh, if you like the video please hit the like button if you have any suggestions please drop in a comments I read uh, each and every comments and, and I hit the subscribe button uh, if you want to be notified for my next video thank you